my way to victory. Oh, where are we? So we've done four exits. There's only six exits in this game. Got to do some more. Is there an end? Is it up or down? Up was the right choice. All right, cool. Who are we? Why are we here? And is there an end? Is there a beginning? And I, is there a dead? All right. Jump. Have I seen this yet? No, I haven't. I haven't seen this level, unfortunately. Full spin and then jump up. Oh boy. More not flying. Yay! <laughs> what is the on off gonna do? Oh, you can go down this pipe. Okay. Holy crap. Alright. Can I carry items through pipes? You can. Alright. Don't spin there. Hit that thing, go down, grow up. There's a saw down there. Most of this just learning and ex learning the time and execution. I prefer to throw the Goomba up and have him bounce off me, but you can just throw it at the switches, then just hold down to auto kick the shell when you land and go in the pipe. All right, so we're not carrying the shell. I don't know if I'm supposed to, it says auto kick the shell, but like, is it supposed to go left or right? I assume right, that would be, oh, the shell comes down. Where was I going then? Oh, how but? How but? It's not, okay, it's not so old that it's black and white. All right, well, that gives me a couple of decades to work with. Where's my dude? You can almost make that. So what's the Goomba for? It's a mushroom. So one of those blocks had a mushroom in it. I wonder if the feather is in the block, but it's a progressive power up or something. So you need to keep the mushroom. Just pull landing, oh no, that's earlier. Land on the right side of the Koopa, yeah, done that. Kick the Goomba up here before hitting the shell. Have I seen, yeah, that's the bit I've been to. That looks different though. That doesn't look the same. I think those on-off blocks are further to the right now. And then something about cape spin. I don't have cape, bro. There's no cape. I think we've, yeah, this is, I've not seen any of that stuff. All right, well, the, I feel like the document is not too useful until I get the, the mushroom and then the supposed uh, feather. I think I'm supposed to land on the red Cooper on the munches down the bottom again. I just realized that there's ground down there. I, I, I gotta I gotta look at the video. I have no idea what the hell this is, man. And then yeah, so it's like a low bounce when it's in the winged form, then a big bounce. So yeah, it's just putting all the pieces together. All right, that's how that's done. Oh wait, why? No, no. Why do they all move? Is that? There's no way I touched all three of them at once. Jump. Up a pipe. I almost got up a pipe. In the early days, people thought it was cheap or cheating or like, in the context of multiplayer games, like, this guy's just bunny hopping everywhere. 
That's illegal. That's an exploit, get banned, etc. Uh, so I had to, I had to land and jump immediately. You know, it's the reason I didn't really love Goldeneye when that was out and everyone was going off about it. It's like awkward. Good enough. Fly me to the cape. Oh, I fly it out of there. Alright, there we go. So there we go, that was that was half an hour. Approximately half an hour to a cape. H. Okay, we are flying. Hold right. Gotta hit that. No. Wait, what? So, like, you do that. But have flight again. Because your stream lagged. So... Oh, wait, you don't need to do the turnaround. It'll turn for you. I'm gonna stomp that. Then I can go in the pipe. Oh wait, what's the on off up there for? How am I going to get something there? Oh, because I'm going to have the um, the, sh the f shell still. Assuming that I'm flying. Okay. So because I'm spinning, I can't duck. That's the issue. Oh. I did that right. Yeah, it looks smooth when when you when you got it going. Like that's kind of the point I think was for this to look impressive. But it's it, it is quite difficult to learn. I'm flying out. Oh, all right, and wait. Flying out of the pipe, I did get the shell and keep going to the right. And the dude woke up because I'm spending too long doing all this stuff. I feel like there's like this era where the only see-through ones you get were like real weird third-party controllers. Oh, that's intended. So it, it wakes up and it puts you into spin. Oh, okay. I had to throw the shell to the right. So the next part looks crazy, but it's free. I put in a bunch of little custom things to remove as much shank as possible. Um, so you pretty much move at the same speed as the shell. What, what does that mean, dude? Kick shell left before pipe, then hold up. What? Like, it doesn't make any sense, man. So what does he, what does he do in the vid? Oh, okay, you kick the shell upwards before you go in the pipe. And then you do a shell jump off the left wall. Oh. Seems like a brick. Yeah, it is. Even the document, like honestly, the Google Doc, the walkthrough is not that useful. And the clear videos um, are often showing not the correct version of the of the the ROM hack. There's been some. Um, I guess, to be fair, inconsequential in the grand scheme of things. Differences most of the time. That's fine. I'm working with it. I'm trying. Okay, so I have to neutral there. But then what is that? Oh, I'm not shell jumping off the, um, the green shell. 
I, I do not understand how you can possibly get a pipe entry. There's there's some sort of weird um, code on the up pipe. I don't know how many people were involved in the development here. I'm sure he, um, I'm sure he had a, did a lot of experimenting. What the hell is going on there? I just died somehow. I died so hard I exited the level. I just want to land on a shell. There's nothing I can do. I get blasted out. If I don't throw the shell at the right time against the wall in relation to the pipe, it ain't gonna work. I, I just had to get, go up piping. Can't play unmodded Minecraft anymore. I think I've only ever played unmodded. I guess that's why I don't play it anymore. Yeah, I, I don't really get into doing wads and stuff. I'm happy. I, I'm not like bored of the original game because I haven't played it heaps over many years. I'm happy to play the, the garbage levels that they shipped with it. Alright, we got it. We got it. It's a checkpoint. New stuff. We're gonna go in a pipe. Dive bomb pull up. Dive bomb, sticky fly. Then go into a pipe. Hold B out of the pipe. Play them all. I gotta wait, what? Okay, so they always get there. I don't know. Yeah. Can you bounce for sure? What? So why why are they got pipe why are they got flight right here? Why is the shell there? Why are they got flight? The spring drop is jank, I don't care about the spring drop right now. Oh. Well, I'll have a keep going. I'm gonna look at the bid. I can't, I uh, can't. Throws it through, comes out the pipe, looks like he's holding. I, I, I can't tell. Does he stall? I, I don't know what it is. It's, you can't really tell. I just, I can see what animation frame he's in. It looks like he's probably holding left coming out of the pipe. I have no idea. You do just hold right and then you, oh, that breaks some stuff. jump I guess so at some point I need to drop that block so I'll drop the springboard so yeah that was that was kind of almost there everyone's still happy about that that was fine it's good enough Lot better and go into another pipe. Checkpoints it. I hope it goes alright for you. That's awesome to see you again. I wish I could have shown you something cool.
Alright, there you go. There's something cool. There's a checkpoint. Where am I now? What am I doing? Up the pipe, hit the switch. Oh, now we're flying. Okay. Go back in that one. And that's a semi solid because Carl likes Mario Maker. Thinks that that's meant to be a semi solid. Alright. Oh my god. Um. What? And it's probably great when you know what you're doing. Don't get stuck to the ceiling. I want to go. I want to go down. Give me. Okay, I, I want the shell. Only hold forward and run out of this pipe. Jump, hold, run, left, up, kick, shell, up. After ground pound. Ah, oh, I don't. Know. God. All right. Whatever. And then don't hold, do or don't hold jump there. I, I don't know what that is. Uh, this time, hold right, run, jump out of the pipe. Make sure you release the D-pad a bit after flying out of the pipe to maintain your speed. The shell jump is free, just release wide or kick the shell and auto bounce because you're moving so fast. I hold jump out of the pipe and this is where I die. Why did I do that then? in the pipe and then think fast. God damn it. What was I what was I meant to do? I was supposed to dive bomb that low on the screen. There we go. I touched the goal kinda. Gonna be faster everywhere, so I've got time to dodge the troll as well. Second, one Mario second on the clock. Pretty rough, man. And there was still some kind of invisible barrier there, too. Uh, the new sub map. I mean, you are using the beta firmware, I would imagine, right? The one off the, the SD to SNES uh, blog site. The only other thing I had to do to get it working on my actual Super Nintendo downstairs is that I had to, in the SD to SNES options, was to enable in-game hook. Something. There we go. Run on the platform, Glizzy Guzzler. 5,000, how is everyone? I can't speak for everyone. <laughs> what is that platform? What's that crap down the bottom? Am I gonna get back on that thing? Hold, jump here while holding right to get optimal height. After jumping off the red platform, hold left. Only press left after jumping or it'll kill your height. Almost. Where did it say to jump from? Okay, it's a good good start. Why does the bomb kill me? The bomb doesn't kill him. I'm just. I guess I'm too slow. It's because I'm holding jump. 
Yeah, it's because I'm holding jump. Then what the hell? Yeah, yeah, there's a little incremental progress. It'd be very discouraging if I couldn't do anything in the level, you know? Um, and so we, you know, a little, little bit at a time. The game, the, I look like garbage at this right now, but I'll eventually get a checkpoint and then we'll find a new section that I look garbage at. First move, yeah, yeah, the bomb thing. If that works, you grab the shell, throw it left. And we do an up throw on the springboard after we bounce off the red Cooper. I feel like this one is just super unreadable. More so than the rest of them. So something like that and we land on the springboard. So excited to finally do some flying again. I have, a, I have a bomb, and that's a snake block. All right, so that that block, we gotta like stop for a second. I kind of just went through the spring. That's fine though. It's like the tiny pixel. It's like, it's like maybe a 2x2 two two or a 3x3. Three three. Hey, checkpoint. Alright. It got real slow there for a second. So just hold right. I gotta work out how to go down. I mean, there's a short time limit, but like in theory, because <laughs> I think what we're supposed to do is like hold left and right and do like a. You know, there's no controlled flying in this game. It's gonna be like something flashy, like yeah, left right stuff. A game which I've not played much of. Because I've got some questions that, I mean, someone could answer them for me, but I feel like it would be more satisfying if I discovered them myself, so I would know for sure. Um, it's got to feel kind of like a setback. Even though, you know, nothing concrete was achieved. Oh, there's a door right there. Yeah, like that. Okay, one sec. Let's have, let's just uh, go back for a sec. Yes. Okay. Spin, then change directions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's good. I've worked that out. The cape spin can destroy bomb explosions. This is used repeatedly. Use it to not take damage from explosions. Spin after the bomb explodes, and the cape will destroy the explosion before it hits you. You instantly get P speed after the door because I'm lazy and hate waiting. All right. So that's after the door. We haven't got there yet. Well, you beat the Batman NES games. GG, Batman. Whatever, what's in the door? Uh, Alright, so that's the thing that's going to give me peace speed at the end. the spikes. I, you instantly get peace speed after the door because I'm lazy. Don't hit the spikes. Do a regular flying cape spin the bomb to fly with it. Let me, let me look at the vid. Yeah, it's spin and then normal fly. Well, I don't have two bombs though. That's the question. Like I, end, I had two bombs, didn't I? All right, whatever, man. Whatever. Is this a Power Rangers bop? Yeah. So why is why why is there two bombs? And then that's a sticky fly. I saw that in the video. Why didn't that blow up? 
Where do... I don't understand. Well, so after the Guardians of the Galaxy came out, like a bunch of a bunch of Zoomers were like picking up like walk like cassette Walkmans because Star Lord was listening to a bunch of tapes. And they're like, oh my god, it's so cool, so cool to have to rewind the tape when you want to get back to the start. Hey, there we go. I got flight? Damn, I did have flight. Alright, just... I don't have... F I d what? I've got flight? And then... Three... Two... One... We're out of time there. Uh, I gotta figure out how to be fast. I'm gonna dive there. Spin kill that one, swag that one. And I don't know what we do with the last bomb, apart from just don't die to its explosion, I guess. So down. Supposed to dolphin dive. That's right, gotta go down, up. Somehow figure out how to get a friggin' slide there. After spinning to destroy the last explosion, use bot slide swag to destroy the ball. Uh, okay. Down, up, spin, bot slide swag. And we're out of time. We're at zero. Alright. Now we speed up. when you think you got it. Guess what? You don't got it. Fly away to victory. I just... What if that's a spin fly right there? Well... I didn't have flight. Who's making N64 HDMI mods at the moment? Like, who actually has them in stock and where can you get them from? Like, even the mod boards. I know that, like, there was the N64 digital, like, Pixel FX was, like, the latest and greatest N64 HDMI mod. There it is. That's the end got there. That's the end of the sixth level. It was indeed just a spin. Just just get P-speed, man. That's all. He did it, he done it, he gagged and muffled the poop out of this sector. Somebody there please take go. that rag back to the cleaners from Woof. gagging the poop. GG. It got stained. Made Ahem, it. huh, what look, it's DRKRDNK going for the cape bubble flying. Win, bada, bing, bada, boom. Credits. Let's enjoy the credits. Bye-bye, Yoshi. Created by Carl Sagan. That's G, right? Yeah, 42. Here's the inspirations and all that sort of stuff. ASM Daddy. Overworld Design. Good job, Fedora Friday. Music. This many people for the music. Some good peeps there. A lot of graphics from our graphics friends. Carl Satan, am I right? Yeah. ASM stuffs. In no particular order, I guess. And for saving his butt. 
gotten uh, <laughs> all these people. Oh my god, he actually I did it. He done it. Potato Chan. <laughs> Troll friends. All the so special thanks to all the viewers and makers in the SMW and SMM communities who make me proud to be a member of this lovely community dedicated to Carl Sagan, the real one. To live in the hearts of those we leave behind is to never die. Yoshi has no tongue, only an open mouth. That's fine. Yeah, so that's it. There should be six exits. We'll do a reset just to confirm what's going on. We flew to the stars, we got all the exits, that's a full six. I did it, I done it, I played a, a Kaizo Expert cape hack. It took 12 hours to play six levels, and it's that kind of game. It just, it's just the way it is, there's learning. Not only that, I had to read the document. Thank you so much for to playing my game, says the nerd car. Yeah, there's a, there's a whole document that you have to look through. It gives you some trick explanations for tricks that might be difficult to understand. There's uh, there's even the the video on Carl's channel. Um, but it gives you, you know, the full playthrough. Just so you know, by the way, if I, if I were to go back for a sec. Uh, where are we? Here, where's the end? The end is... God damn it. <laughs> the end is here. Okay, this is this is what the clear video shows you at the end. You just touch the goal and you win, you know? So using the using the document and you know, as a last resort using the videos since we got through it. Shao, why didn't I use Jaws or Novi's clear vids? Because they weren't linked in the text file that was included in the zip with this ROM hack. So I got trolled all the time. I didn't know what was coming up. It was the last resort, except I'd used it. I leaned on it a lot in the last level. It was very difficult to understand what to do in that one. Some would say the fifth might be the hardest level, but I don't know about that. I feel like it might be equal tired. Like the fifth one was difficult because there was a lot of stuff, but the sixth one was hard because I couldn't figure out what the hell to do.